Incredible Indians is a story encapsulated and interspersed with the accomplishments of its denizens all around the globe. Beat any field, any discipline, their stories are humongous and invigorating. Naturally, these inspire, and this is the very spirit the series Incredible Indians portrays. India and its people are a celebration in itself. It's laced with rich and glorious cultural heritage. It is as much enticing in its geographical landmass as in the heroics of its people. India, a nation of pride with people being its might. India is the mystical land. As divergent and resplendent in landmass, culture, history and lineage, as among its faces, the people. It is merely not a projection of the nation that has one heart, the soul, its people have conquered across four frontiers. There are no greater entrepreneurs, I think, than those who come from the school of Indian business, of Indian technology. I mean, this is the fastest growing sector in the whole world. It supports all other sectors. India is dominant in it. And I think anyone who's setting out to launch a business, a startup, uh, with an Indo-Canadian frame of reference, uh, as we move towards a much larger economic relationship with India, as we move towards many more global companies based in Canada, has a very exciting future ahead. In today's globalized world, success requires understanding the nuances of other cultures. It is a wider canvas today, and this paradigm change has made the society one umbrella to imbibe and adapt. Beat any field, science, literature, social, sports, music, entertainment, Indians truly have surpassed the highest manifestations of human endeavor and intelligence. We can talk at length and not stop. India is amazing. So are its people. Every whichever way you may see. 1.2 billion plus people choose their leader democratically, empowering and overwhelming support. And it is real, incredible Indians. We have more on this incredible Indian and their life story. Do stay with us as we come back after this short break. Ranbir, 
साफ भी कर दी और भिगो भी दी वाह तुम तो बिल्कुल अलादीन का चिराग निकले सदके जाऊँ तुम पर तुम पर भी सदके जाऊँ अमन की दाले और पल्सेस साफ सुथरी और स्वाद से भरपूर हार्ट एंड स्ट्रोक फाउंडेशन के हेल्थ चेक के साथ सभी ग्रोसरी स्टोर पर अवेलेबल Celebrate this Dasara and Diwali with the live performance of Ram Leela by Indian Revival Group from New Delhi. To book the Ram Leela in your city, call Ajay Modi at 416-505-8590. चिट्ठी आई है आई है चिट्ठी आई है चिट्ठी आई है आई है चिट्ठी आई है चिट्ठी आई है वतन से At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in history, when we step out from the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance. Sixty-six years of freedom has brought. Visible metamorphoses. The Indians may have left their homeland in pursuit of their tangible dreams to venture out on newer paths, but the inherent grit and determination remains enshrined within their psyche, and that is to conquer the world as harbingers of superlative success. We unfold for you the true stories of grit, determination, and hard work in an alien soil. the human instinct that is so overpowering with a simple urge to excel there is a natural match here between the huge potential of canada and the huge potential of india i just came from the royal bank of canada's 25 top immigrants awards you know a quarter of them maybe a third were from south asia and most of them indo canadians uh look at our universities uh coming to be dominated in their leadership in business schools and at the top of the universities by indo-canadians look at the people on this list entrepreneurs of distinction by any standard in canada leading the creation of whole new sectors i know almost all of them and whether it's anil shah or ajit or vasu or surjit they have taken you know very small beginnings in canada and turned them into mammoth undertakings that are huge just here in the GTA but have global interests and are going to drive 
our relations with India much, much further. Anil Shah is a very lively, jovial bloke. His love and caring nature is abundantly reflective towards his family. Shah's is a small world, but they say small is beautiful. And Anil's world is a perfect embodiment of all that is blissful. Anil Shah, the maverick man. This is a profile that can be summed up in words. A chemical engineer, an entrepreneur, a successful businessman, a visionary, a philanthropist, a recognized leader in public service and community at large, a man of many moods, yet simple and candid at heart. He started from very little, parlayed that into a phenomenally successful business, but he's not afraid to take risks even today. But not only in the sense of business, but in his own personal life, and insofar as the community is concerned. He is a champion of the community and he's a wonderful friend. Of course, his business acumen is second to none. He is definitely an incredible Indian. Anil Spearhead's Nymet, a Canadian company that has set a phenomenal track record, meeting the perpetual challenges of international demand for quality resources. Over the years, with resourceful planning, the company has built a network of strategically located offices and associates, creating a strong alliance with international producers, traders, and end users, and catering to diverse industries like steel and alloy steel, non-ferrous metals, and plastics. NIMET's highly diversified activities have given it a unique market position, largely due to the business acumen, entrepreneurial vision, and unending energy of its founder. This man's energy level is phenomenal. He cares for people. He's always there for people and his friends. And I have benefited by this relationship with him. And I call him, you know, my brother. Right, and, and the same goes, I guess, the other way around too. So we have a great time. We always party, party, party. We may be a little bit old for party, but we do party a lot because we enjoy each other's company because there's never a dull moment. Anil Shah's NIMET is a success story achieved by creating new markets for Canadian products by providing expert guidance and better alternatives that are environmentally friendly and efficient by responding effectively to the demands of the ever-growing international markets and diverse customer demands. We have offices in India, China, Middle East and Thailand and our products mainly are nickel and stainless raw material. These days we do a lot more of stainless steel scrap than in the past. Anil Shah represents our community, thousands of men, women and youth who support the social mosaic of our society. His yeoman efforts to continually improve Trillium's facilities and services have been exemplary. He has been a dedicated supporter of Trillium Health Center's community for many years. Anil likes to have a good time. He's very business focused, a highly successful entrepreneur, and uh, he brings that spirit, I think, to his, his community work, whether it's the Indo Canadian uh, Chamber of Commerce or the work he does at the, at the hospital. And I really enjoyed and benefited greatly from my relationship with, with Anil. He's been a, a, an individual who's introduced and uh, acted as an ambassador and a liaison with me, working with the South Asian community. He has served as a director on the boards of both Trillium Health Center and Trillium Health Center Foundation. In terms of his legacy and the work that he's done for the hospital and through Diwali, uh, he was part of the Human Mosaic Project you can see behind me here. Uh, and there's uh, this uh, mosaic, much larger, it bears uh, uh, the wall of the, uh, the Queensway Health Center. So we've got a wonderful image of a Neil comprised a very diverse group of individuals, nurses, doctors, community members, uh, donors, and, and volunteers, uh, all working towards one cause. So I think that's part of Anil's style, is he, he does it with flair, he does it with energy, dedication, and uh, works hard and has a lot of fun.
Anil has been involved in many of Trillium's fundraising initiatives, including working on Trillium's capital campaign and serving as co-chair of the Trillium Diwali Fundraising Gala for two years. Trillium Diwali is our signature event as a, as a foundation, raising funds in support of uh, the Trillium Health Partners. Uh, we're in our 13th year, and uh, we've raised over $3 million in support of a variety of healthcare needs uh, at, the, uh, at the hospital. And it's such a wonderful, multicultural celebration. And Anil Shah uh, was one of the founders of Diwali, and in fact, co-chaired the event twice on our behalf. So he's shown such incredible leadership. And uh, he's also, uh, in addition to his, his leadership, he also has a really good time at Diwali as well, too. He really embodies the spirit of the event, and he's uh, also a wicked dancer as well, too. All know that Anil is an avid golfer, actively involved with the Indo-Canada Chamber of Commerce, and has also served as a chair for ICCC's golf committee. He is also involved in raising money and awareness for the Polio Foundation in Ahmedabad, India. A noble soul, he's among the founding members of Canada India Foundation. Loyal, honest, generous, insightful, helpful, upstanding role model for the immigrant community. I know him since 1971. We met each other on the very first day of our engineering college and I thought that I found a friend. Talk about him, he was one of our best friends, he was one of our close friends and what mattered most to us or what uh, attracted us to him was his openness and his generosity. If you, if you tell him that Anil, the shirt which you are wearing is nice, he used to just open the shirt and give it to us. Anil was a guy who was always open to risk. Anil was a guy who used to spend more than 50 rupees when he had five rupees in his pocket. That, that, that's what was his nature. So for a normal Maharashtrian boys in our school, that was a trauma, but I knew that all he does was with a plain, simple heart. At heart, he has been a very, very good in human being. I have known Anil for uh, upwards of about uh, 20 years. During that time, I've always found him very humorous, you know, very rowdy, very noisy. Uh, there's no party uh, that we have when Anil is not there. As soon as he enters the room, he breathes all the oxygen. You know, he is a, a, an amazing person, very friendly. Over the years, he has helped a lot of people. He is an effective public speaker who is invited nationally and internationally on professional and social stage, often thinks outside the box, has an eye for opportunity and, above all, a risk taker. There are only two countries, Indonesia and Philippines, which are selling the letter at Nicolau. But the Philippine material is only less than 1.2% of nickel content. Indonesian is 1.8, 2.2. To make it more productive and cost effective, they need to blend that both the ores together. Otherwise, they have a problem. The cost effectiveness goes away. The Incredible Indians returns after a short commercial break. Diwali with the live performance of Ram Leela by Indian Revival Group from New Delhi. To book the Ram Leela in your city, 
call Ajay Modi at 416-505-8590. चिराग निकले सदके जाऊँ तुम पर तुम पर भी सदके जाऊँ अमन की दाले और पल्स साफ सुथरी और स्वाद ऐसी भरपूर हार्ट एंड स्ट्रोक फाउंडेशन के हेल्थ चेक के साथ सभी ग्रोसरी स्टोर आरोप अवेलेबल चिट्ठी आई है आई है चिट्ठी आई है चिट्ठी आई है आई है चिट्ठी आई है चिट्ठी आई है वतन से Moments can change your life. They can make you nervous and bring out your passion. Moments can unite you. They make you laugh out loud or bring a tear to your eye. Moments are first imagined with every detail carefully planned and rehearsed in your mind. Moments can be perfect and moments can define who you are. They bring out the best of you and challenge you to be better. Moments are meant to be shared, cherished, and treasured. Raise your glass to turning a moment into an unforgettable memory. Apollo Convention Center. Book your event today. Call 905-670-8009 or visit ApolloConventionCenter.com. Every week we bring you a new episode showcasing the stupendous accomplishments of NRI Indians who have excelled in their fields. The multifaceted, multidimensional profiles that stand the testimony of the times they have lived through. Bharatanatyam is essentially a South Indian classical dance form, but today I would say it's a pan-global dance form because just about in any part of the world. Even I believe in Yellowknife, there is somebody who is teaching Bharatanatyam, performing it, practicing it. So it's a global dance form. It's a very dynamic, very precise, and very disciplined dance uh, movement form. An in truly incredible Indian who has come up from scratch and has built an empire. The man we call him a towering icon. I always believe failure is a feedback for tomorrow's success. Work hard, don't take no for an answer, get your education and learn from your peers, learn from your ancestors, learn from your friends and your parents, and then use your own knowledge to take the best out of it and build on it. The man who has come up to the stature of becoming an incredible Indian by his own work, by his own passion, and by his own strengths. Definitely, you must get involved with the Canadian society as quickly as you can. You've come to a country, you need to learn 
uh, about the country, get involved with the country and get involved with every aspect, whether it's the snow, the business or the sports. You give him an institution, you give him a company, you give him anything which is not doing great, this man can bring it up and live it up to this particular slogan I'm saying, make it happen man. He will make it happen. It's called the Economic Advisory Council to the Finance Minister for getting Canada out, out of the recession. This was struck in, uh, in 2009. Our auto industry was in trouble. Our airline industry was in trouble. Our manufacturing industry was in trouble. Our building industry and construction industry was in trouble. So he selected me. And if I were to go for half a more minute on this particular issue, he called me at about 6.30 and he said, Ajit, this is Jim here. And obviously there are a fair amount of gyms and I don't expect a call from the finance minister every day. So I said, yeah, Jim. He said, yeah, this is Jim Flaherty and I want you to help the country. For a minute, I thought he was sending me to Afghanistan. <laughs> right? So uh, That's true. You know, and, and because that, that time we were really involved in Afghanistan. This individual attends every game of Raptors that is played at the Air Canada Center. To the best of my knowledge, he has never missed one single game. He brings wheels to you. He provides and sells automobiles, where again, he has gained the stature of number one Hyundai dealer in Canada. For these new immigrants that are coming in every second day out of India, what would be your message to them? What should they do to become the next incredible Indian? This is heaven we are in. And what we have to do is we have to work hard, we have to work honest and treat everybody like we want to be treated ourselves and interact with everybody. Every week, we shall endeavor to bring you a persona that's awe-inspiring. Their passion personified for your viewing. The Flying Sardar of Canada, Mr. Surjit Babra. I contribute where my heart, heart thinks it has a bit supported the 